everybody, it's me. And now we're going to try to finish the packet. So um, we have two equal sides. This is 90 degrees, but it's also obviously an isosceles triangle. 6x plus 21 is equal to 10x plus 9. And I end up with x is equal to 3 and rs is equal to 39. Okay. Um, over here I have... Um, these are two equal sides. This is perpendicular by sector, so these two sides are also equal. I end up with 9x plus 15 is equal to 5x plus 31. I end up with 4x is equal to 16, and x is equal to 4. When I plug in my 4 into rs, um, I end up with rs is equal to 51. Okay. Uh, now we're going to go over here. We want to solve for x and y and then find these values. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go 8y plus 20 is equal to 12y minus 8. Um, solving this, this becomes 28. This is equal to 4y because I added 8 and I subtracted 8y from both sides. Uh, now I'm going to, y is equal to 7 when you divide by 4. The next relationship is 8x plus 6 is equal to 6x plus 18. I end up with 2x is equal to 12 and x is equal to 6. Okay. Now what I want to do is um, find these values. AB, of course, is AB. Is 8 times x plus 6. That's 8. I take the x value of 6 plus 6. 48 plus 6 is equal to 54. Okay. I have 54. I have 40. I have 76. 54. 80. And 76. I'm not going to go over plugging in each one. Okay. Let's turn the page. See what we have. Um, this is more. I have 15x plus 9 is equal to 12x plus 27. This becomes x is equal to 6. Over here, it's 8x minus 63 is equal to 4x minus 27. I end up with 4x is equal to 36 and x is equal to 9. And the last one is 8x minus 12 is equal to 2x plus 33. I get 6x is equal to 45 and x is equal to 7.5. Okay. Um, let's see if you got these right. This is the median. This is perpendicular bisector. This is angle bisector. And this is altitude. And it is the height of the triangle. Okay. Let's look at these questions over here. We have the altitude. Um, if YB is the altitude, and YBZ, YBZ is over here. I have 90 is equal to uh, 6X minus 6, and that means X is equal to 16. Okay, looking at the next problem. Um, this angle, we're given two angles over here. And... Uh, and I have 90, so I'm given this angle, I'm given that angle, and this is 90 because it's the altitude, so I have 4x minus 8 plus 6x plus 13 plus 90 is equal to 180. I end up with 10x plus 95 is equal to 180. 10x is equal to 85, and x is equal to 8.5. 
Let's do the next one. Um, so you're given a lot of information, but they're only asking us for, we know that this is equal to that, um, but we also, we know this is equal to that, so I don't think you need this at all, okay? Because it's the medium, we know the sides are equal, so we have 10x minus 7 is equal to 5x plus 3, and I end up with x is equal to 2. Once you solve it, let's do this last one. And um, we know this is 90 degrees because it's the altitude. And that means we could just do 4x minus 6 is equal to 90. And we get x is equal to 24. Okay. On 34, we're just finding the shortest and the longest. This becomes 43. So the shortest is RS and the longest, remember it's opposite the longest side, the longest, I'm just going to call it L, long is TS, my shortest is, well, this is 58, and when we calculate this, this is 58, so it's J, K, and uh, R, H, oh, J, K, and K, H, Okay, because they're opposite, and of course the largest is um, JH. The shortest over here, when you calculate, this is by the way 82. This is 82, so that means this over here is the longest. That's CB, and the shortest is AC. Okay, there we go. The next one, um, possible values for X. So what we want to do is we want to subtract and we want to add. So we end up with um, uh, 9 plus X is greater than 21. So x is greater than 12, that's subtracting and adding um, 21 plus 9 is greater than x, and that's 30 is greater than x. And when we rewrite it, it ends up being like this, okay, 30 and 12. Okay, now that we know that this is the setup, um, let's do it over here. We did not do this type of a problem, but um, I'm actually going to say we don't have to do 38. Let's do 39. We're going to skip 39 also. Okay, 38 and 39 you don't have to do. And let's look at 40. Possible lengths of the third side. Again, um, x is between 0 and 12. I'm not sure if you could have a side of 0. Oh, so it could be slightly more. That's what it says. Slightly more. Uh, x is between 4 and 14 because it's 9 take away 5 and 9 plus 5. And over here I have x is between 5 and 17. And last but not least, um, what do we know about the angles T, P? Because they're the same, we know they're equal. Uh, because this one is less, we know KD is less. And because um, this one is less, we know angle 1 is less. Ooh. Looking at these two, angle 1 
We're looking at 1 and 2, and I'm going to say angle 1 is... They are not congruent, and so I'm going to say angle 1 is... Oh, because we have the 9, so because 9 is larger, okay, uh, this is larger. Because, oh, this is interesting, um, this side is bigger and 8T, so 8T is larger, so it's going to look like that. And over here, we have angle 1, so we have 3, we have 1 and 2, and this is a measurement 3, so the angle opposite is 2 for 3, so 2 is smaller, so it looks like that. And that is the end of unit 40, unit 5.